Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the congenital birth defects of the female reproductive system. The anomalies of the female reproductive systems are caused by incomplete deep development of the paramagenophic ducts. Incomplete fusion of the paramagenophic duct failure of fusion or development of the sinovaginal bulbs that forms into vaginal plate, failure of canalization of the vaginal plate. Anomalies of the female reproductive system, anomalies of the uterine tube, uterine tube is also called fallopian tube, OB duct, or salpings. One or both uterine tube may be absent rarely. The uterine tube may fail to canalize. There may be accessory ostium of the uterine tube. Ostium means opening. So if the uterine tube if they fail to canalize, if it is bilateral, that may lead to primary sterility so there is no canal there will be no fertilization so the woman would be sterile in that condition smooth muscle layer of the uterine tube may be absent totally uterine tube are developed from the unfused part of the paramagenophic ducts anomalies of the uterine tube may cause primary sterility Anomalies of the female reproductive system, anomalies of the uterus, duplication of the uterus caused by lack of fusion of the paramagenophic duct. So paramagenophic duct has unfused part and fused part. The unfused part forms the fallopian tube, fused part forms the uterus and upper part of the vagina including the furnaces of the vagina. There may be entirely double uterus, we call it uterus didelphis, arcuate uterus, slight indentation in the middle of the fundus of the uterus, uterus bicornis, also called bicornuate, uterus has two horn opening into a common vagina, uterus bicornis unicolis, one uterine horn opening into the vagina. Another horn is either rudimentary or does not communicate with the vagina or with the other part of the or, or with the another horn. Cervical atresia, terminal atresia of the both paramagenophic duct lead to cervical atresia. Okay. This is an image that has been taken from the clinically oriented embryology by Mohd and Parshwat. We are seeing this is the normal uterus, the fundus, body of the uterus, the cervix, internal os, external os, cervical fornix, vagina. This is normal. We may have double uterus like that. We may have double vagina. We may have double uterus like that and one vagina. We may have two horn like this and we may have one vagina and one we may have one rudimentary horn, one developed horn and one vagina. Here there may be septum in the uterus. Here only one horn or one sided paramagenophic duct is developing in the uterus, other part is missing. So these are the anomalies, this is the normal uterus. Vaginal anomalies, absence of vagina occur once in 5000 births, light births, often 5000 births, often 
absence of vagina is associated with uterus because the development of the uterus utero vaginal primordium is essential for the development of the vagina from sinovaginal bulb or vaginal plate one induces the development of another if there is no vagina usually there is no uterus if there is no uterus there is no complete vagina atresia of the vagina failure of canalization of the vaginal plate okay there may be failure of the canalization of the vaginal plate vaginal plate is coming from the fusion of the sinovaginal fluid okay okay so we got that a transverse septum at the junction of the upper and middle third of the vagina may occur one in 80,000 women. Imperforate hymen. hymen is the most common anomaly of the female reproductive tract. The hymen is the, hymen is the membrane that is for that is that is present as a membrane mucous membrane of the urogenital sinus and covered by partly by the vaginal cell due to the thinning and canalization of the vaginal plate and continuous with that of the uterus in the lower part of the urogenital sinus there is separation between the urogenital sinus and the vaginal plate lower part of the vaginal plate okay so imperforate hymen is the most common anomaly of the female reproductive tract and causes cryptomenorrhea cryptomenorrhea is that the, the young lady has menstruation but that is not coming out it is inside the uterus okay so every week, every month she has menstruation but it cannot come out because of imperforate hymen it needs surgery to the hymen so that she can get the menstrual blood out the vaginal orifice may be small or large in diameter it varies from person to person there may be two vaginal orifice okay here are anomalies of the hymen this is normal hymen this is incomplete perforation of the hymen here here septate septate hymen okay there's a septum here here it is cribriform multiple opening of the hymen this is micro perforate hymen this is imperforate hymen that may lead to cryptomenorrhea or there will be menstruation but no menstrual blood that blood is cannot come out because there is no exit through the vagina okay so now learn something this is a teratogenic drug diethylstilbestrol it was used to manage abortion to prevent abortion preterm delivery in diabetes in preeclampsia during 1970s but it is found that the mother who took diethylstilbestrol their babies especially the female babies the daughters has a lot of suffering and even the male child of those mother who took diethylstilbestrol may have problem in the testes so exposure to diethylstilbestrol in uterus during intrauterine life may cause increased incidence of what clear cell carcinoma of the vagina this is a type of adenocarcinoma cells looks like blue color in young age what age from 16 to 22 years women may have clear cell carcinoma because they were exposed to diethylstilbestrol while they were in their mother's uterus cervical aeration cervical adenocarcinoma is also possible many uterine anomalies like cervical hood t-shaped uterus hypoplastic uterus cervical incompetence infertility premature labor okay that may be associated with exposure to diethyl stimbestarol not necessarily all of them will have clear cell carcinoma of the vagina but it is found in one in 1000 individuals who are exposed to diethyl stimbestarol those female uh, baby 
at the age of 16 to 22 may have clear cell carcinoma of the vagina. Malformed upper vagina, malformation of the uterus, uterine tube. Anomalies of the testis is also possible and, and maybe there may be really sperm anomaly in male individuals. There may be also anomaly of the EPD dimes due to exposure to diethyl steel Diethyl steel is a synthetic estrogen. So it was used in 1970 to manage many problems like premature delivery, preterm labor, or to prevent abortion, and to manage preeclampsia, to manage diabetes. But it is found that it is a teratogenic drug. It should not be used during pregnancy. It is not used nowadays. Okay. So that's all about the congenital birth defect or anomalies of the female reproductive system. The images have been taken from this book, The Developing Human Clinically Oriented Embryology, 11th edition, more partial than tertia and savers. We also got information from Langman's Medical Embryology. So if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.